this is Solomon Custom Works. We're going to be looking at the 60s pickup. I'm going to be changing the shape of those side windows so it looks less like a taxi, more like a kick ass show rod. Let's get to the workshop. Truck. What we've got to do, we've got to take all of this junk off the roof. So we've got like a hole for a sunroof there and this really rusty light. We've got to get rid of all that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this whole section of the roof out and then replace it with a fiberglass section. It's going to last for a lot longer than this. This really is pretty bad. This is, this is a lot of stuff to fill. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think of some way to do that. I think what I'm gonna do is fill this whole thing with dye bond and then fiberglass the whole roof right down to the tops of the doors. So um, this is all nice and stable and strong. We'll probably get the back of the cab on first though. Okay, so what I've done, I've cut off the rain gutter and now we've got this thing where this roof is now disconnected from the door frame. Now, I've cleaned this up, but I have noticed inside there's a lot of area without paint and there is some rust, some rust starting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to treat inside here uh, with a rust proofer and there, and then I will attach this down just so that I'm not sort of locking in a rusty area forever that can never be repaired in the future. So I'm going to do that. Paint plenty of this in here and hopefully that will stop any rust forming. Uh, I'm painting in this stuff. Stabilizes all the metal, makes all the rust waterproof so there's gonna be no more rust. And then this bit is, you know, as good as it can be. And, uh, to start replacing all of this is just too much. And a lot of this is quite um, sand. So what I'll probably do is grind around all this and rust treat it before I put it back together. Uh, even on a car with so much fiberglass, I do sort of have to have a bit of old metal, so it's gotta be there, so that's how it's just, it's just the way it is. But hopefully, now we've done this, and once we've reattached this, everything will be fine in there forevermore. Okay, so I've skipped forward a little bit, um, because you've seen me put the back of the cab on, cab on before, in other videos, but it's on now. And another thing I sort of skipped back was the filling of the hole in the roof. Now, if you remember, this had a hideous aftermarket sunroof in, and of course it's got that taxi light on the front, which is, that's in like a, on a pressed steel sort of notch in the roof. So I had to cut all of that out. And how I've remade this roof, I put a piece of dye bond up into the roof, and I jacked that up with a... You know, a little acro jack thing, push that into the roof. And I, I roughed it up really good so that fiberglass would stick to it. After that, I covered the whole roof in three layers of fiberglass matte and resin. And after that, the, the roof at this point is quite strong, but it wasn't the right shape. So then I shaped this using a fiberglass filler, like a P40, I'm actually using a U-pole um, fibre reinforced filler. And I got it to the right shape. And then I've laid a further two layers of fiberglass over this. And this ties everything in. So this is literally just as one piece now. In this, I used the fiberglass glass micro balls as well. 
in the resin mix. So this is like the, the most bomb-proof piece of fiberglass in the world. And all that's needed on this now is flat off and then fill in and you know then it's good paint and primer. But this roof, super, super strong. We've done a lot of work to this door. First what I've done, I've rolled the roof over, I've got rid of the gutter, and then I've made the uh, actual window frame a little bit lower to give a more squat look to the window. And to stop that, this taxis have like a weird kick up into the corner. And that, that to me always makes it look like I chopped a saloon into a pickup, whereas I want it to look like a pickup, not like something I've converted. So this also helps with that. Also something that is just custom do rigueur is the radius in of as much as you can. So I've radius the back of this window. This all needs trimming off, but there's been a lot of work done. Uh, equally with the door, I put the smooth panel on to get rid of, to, just to hide all that um, old steel that's behind there. We've got the top of the door on, and I've started work making the bonnet and the top of the door and the wing and here, smoothing that together. Now, I've done all that this time in a fiberglass reinforced filler. I just want to make sure nothing cracks, nothing affects the paint once it's done. Everything belt and braces. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this door out because at the moment, um, and I always like to do this, I've got the I've got the shape with the filler. Because I always say you can't just can't make a car out of Bondo. It will just crack and fall to bits. What well, you've got to do, well, it's got to cover everything in fiberglass. So I've covered this in this fiberglass. I've gone right over the door gap there. The door gap is totally hidden. So we need to cut that back out and now it'll all be level. And then I can get the door open again, tidy up around it. And then we'll look at doing all of this on the other side and then you'll get to see sort of step by step how this has come together. Looking at the car, we've done something here. I've extended the rear fender by, I don't even know how much. It's a lot though. This is really long. And I've done that, so <clears throat> the thing with custom, with a capital K, smooth everything to make everything look a little bit more sort of sleek and retro futuristic and by bringing this up to here we end up here with less gap so it's less step side more kind of fleet side but not really fleet side what we it's 50s custom sort of fleet side so we're smoothing out the step side and we're elongating everything so it's more dramatic everything's more sort of stretched out however we have an issue so just here we have the intersection between the rear fender and the rear of the cab. And I've got this, and I don't want this. I don't want to sand this, I don't want to fill this, it's not very custom. I want this to mould to this. But I've got to be honest, I'm not that sure how that's going to look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this whole section with filler foam. And once that's dry, I'll get the grinder and the saw or whatever and I'll have a bit of a sculpt until I'm happy with how it is. I think it's going to dip in a bit and then swoop round and out, but I'm not really sure. But what the phone does is gives me the flexibility to make whatever shape I want. So let's get some foam. with a filler foam and you know what already I can I can sort of get a I can sort of get the hang of how this is gonna go. I can see that's looking quite good but what I'll do leave that to dry now and I'll come back do a little bit of sculpting maybe add a bit more foam and it will it will sort of reveal itself to me of how this panel should fit to that panel. And um, one instinctively knows when something is right.
side, yeah, as I've already said, it's you know, sort of coming together. Um, but what we need to do is transfer this shape onto this, which is going to form the basis for this bit on the other side. I know you can't look at both sides of a car at the same time, but I would like to get this somewhere near right. So I need to transfer that. I'll be holding that like that. Oh, obviously this lady here, who just happens to be on this second hand piece of dye bond, has met Hot Rod Legend Lee Cox. I think we all love Lee Cox in a way. Um, so, how we're going to do that is I've put some of this self-adhesive neoprene strip, I've cut it down to a very fine line, stuck it to the edge of there. And now what I'm going to do is dab on some of this paint and then that will transfer from there onto my piece of dye bond and then I will have, I was going to say perfect, ain't never going to be perfect is it? But I'll have about that kind of window shape. So I'll do a bit of this. Neoprene, bit of draft excluder, out like that. Just really good for transferring shapes from one side of the car to the other. This, is, this would look bad if you just tuned in like, oh yeah. There's this Paul Bacon guy who builds cars. Someone tunes in and it's just, just me with some Dulux and a brush painting the car. Oh, this is going to look great. Mm. Right, anyway. Line that up with a bit of a press. Right in the eye, right in the eye! <sighs> da -da. And now I display what is essentially a potato print, like I've invented something with real innovation. Anyway, um, I'll cut round there, and then that is the shape of that window, which I will transfer onto that side.
Okay then, so the top of this window and how we're uh, making it go into the roof. There's been a lot of work done, nothing that looks that good at the moment, but it is really coming together. So we've built the window frame out so it meets the roof. I can't even close the door at the moment because we've got some expanding foam here, filling a hole in the top of the door where this has been radiused. Always important at this point, like I say, this doesn't look very good. They're not very good at all. But the thing is, we're building up layers to get the shape and then we're gonna glass over everything so it lasts forever. And uh, this is just one of those stages that you've got to get to, but there really is a, th this sort of point you think, God, what am I doing? But it always comes good, it always comes good. But this really is a foundation for a solid job. So once the uh, red fiberglass resin compound was on there, making this stronger, I went over this with some filler to get the shape a bit better, and that is pretty much where we are now. But let's look how it'll look in a few stages time. So then, with a bit more work, it will look like this. And this, everything's nice and parallel and smooth, and we've got a panel gap back, and we've got this nice gentle curve into this edge around the glass. And this is all covered in a single layer of um, fiberglass matte and resin. So none of this is ever gonna crack. It's always gonna be dead solid and last forever. Uh, yeah, hopefully that side will look a bit more like this side soon. What I've been saying about this, um, I think sort of has missed the point of why it's been done. This, I've done this to change the shape of the taxi window so it doesn't sort of kick up like it's going, going into a car. It looks like a self-contained window. It lowers the roof line a little bit. Just does a few things, just to further disguise this from its lowly taxi roots to its uh, new life as a super cool low-ride show car. Okay, so that is it for another week. Don't forget, buy a t-shirt from our Etsy sort store and all of the uh, details for that are in the description below. And don't forget to click subscribe, do the thumbs up thing, leave some comments down below. I try to get back to as many of them as I can. And that is it. So between this week and next week, time will elapse and there will be another great show where I do more things with Bondo and uh, fiberglass and cars uh, to amuse you all. And until then, get out!